It's my money that bought this place. My sweat that built it up. If she thinks she's going to take that away from me... Oh, Nick, be fair. Fair? Fair. Fair's got nothing to do with this. Leanne, she's been to a solicitor's and she reckons she's due half the place. She's due nothing. You must have known changing the name wouldn't make any difference. <laughs> you think she's right? Uh, no. No. Thank you. But she wasn't just an employee, was she? Uh, she was a good manager, as it goes. Was she? Oh, yeah, I mean, No, she... no, no, she did what I told her. Well, she did sort out the new ordering system. Yeah, and the new menus. Yeah, and she found all those new suppliers. Yeah, and... And nothing! Nothing, she's just a glorified waitress. Oh, I see it now. She gets hold of this place, moves her boyfriend in, who she loves so much, apparently. You don't know that? I do. Because she told him in front of me. Oh, sweetheart. She's getting hold of this place over my dead body. Nick, don't do anything you'll regret. Oh, there's plenty I regret already. No, Nick, what I mean oh. is... I'm not ringing Leanne, Mum. I'm ringing my solicitor. If he thinks I could just roll over and take whatever he throws at me. Well, you're scaring me, that's for sure. But Leanne... You know, I genuinely think he doesn't value a single thing I did at that bistro. Not one thing. You know, if it hadn't been for me, that place would have gone under. Maybe that's what I should have done. That would have taught him. Done? Right. Now it's my turn. Cal, about what I said. I love you too. No, it's all right. You don't have to say it. I felt really stupid just blurting out like that in front of your mum and Nick. Well, it's not quite how I imagined it. What? So you, you had imagined it then? Yeah, of course. Well, say it. I love you. Say it again. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Well, surely there should have been another way. Well, don't you think I would have taken it? Talk about kicking the man when he's down, eh? Well, people want their money, Sibra, is there? Well, I just think it's unfair. Where these guys are concerned, you can offer up as many sob stories and as good intentions as you like. They're not interested, love. OK? It's about columns of figures, and mine just didn't add up. Yeah, well, I hope someday it happens to them. Yeah, well, that's not going to help me, is it? I mean, how am I supposed to get back on my feet if I can't even get any credit? How am I supposed to buy materials, new tools? Well, I'll do whatever I can, you know that, right? Yeah, we know you will. You were just unlucky. Could have happened to anyone. Look, either order a cab or get out. Oh, you really need to work on your people skills. I'm fine with people I actually want to speak to. Lloyd. Oh, oops. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> right. Let yourself out. What do you want from me? I want you to know that my marriage is over. And that I didn't mean to hurt you. Please, Lloyd. You broke my heart! Lloyd! Lloyd, it's Neil. I need to... Oh, great. You. This day just keeps getting better and better. You have to tell Andrea it's over between you. Hey, hey! What do you think you're doing? Oh, great. I thought it was your new Bezzy. Oh, grow up! No! You grow up. If the door's shut, it means we're closed. But you're a cab firm. Oh, and that means we don't deserve some tea, does it? You're lying. Oh, so the idiot's a liar and all, is he? I never called you an idiot. Well, as good as. Look, Lloyd can't help you, OK? Whatever Andrea has decided, well, that's her decision. He's in there. I know he is. Oh, just open the door. Oh, mate, just clear off here before I lose my temper. Go on. All this? Believe me, it's not what you think. Can't blame a girl for trying. You're turning again to a regular knight in shining armor when it comes to that girl, aren't you? It's not like that, and you know it. She's got the wrong end of the stick. It's so like you. I'm not to blame. Was it my fault? Well, it wasn't. Oh, whatever. I don't know what you have to say for I don't know. I wasn't listening. Self-preservation. Well, I only came in for these, so... One hundred, two hundred, three hundred and twenty pounds, fifty-seven p. Twenty pounds down, same as last time and the time before. Well, maybe you got distracted and gave somebody too much change. No. 
Of course not. Look, you can come up with as many explanations as you like, but we both know who took that £20. But that's just it. You didn't see Dennis. And unless you saw it, you can't go oh, around accusing... For goodness accusing... sake, the man's got form. Can you not turn the other cheek, Norris? Turn the other cheek? <laughs> we're not in Sunday school now. Oh, and even if we were, how about thou shalt not deal falsely, thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not steal? Bingo! Full house for Mr Tanner. Please, Norris, think of Rita. Yes, I am thinking of Rita, believe me. I just think it's unfair the way that somebody like Phelan can become bankrupt and then up filthy rich, but when it happens to people like us... I'm snipping up. Where to? Just down the just clear my head and I get some fresh air. Oh, well, you we are pushed around here. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna come here. No, no, I'm No, fine. yeah, I am. Let me get I'm my coat. Fine. Oh, and just let me get my coat. Faye? What, what's happened? Just leave me alone! Hey! Oh, do you want me to go after him? No, look, Anna, go on. You, listen, you go, okay? <sighs> Faye will be fine. It'll be something or nothing. And anyway, when you're that age, the last people I want to talk to is your mum and dad. Yeah, you? she's right. Go on. Go on. You see, the thing is, Rita, drivers today, they don't have the bond, do they? Because they've got sat nav. Whereas in my day... Oh, Steve, you're talking to two people who can remember the horse and cart. This is your day. You know, I think if I could choose a voice for sat nav, I'd probably go for Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher? Oh, well, I'll tell you what, Dennis Tanner, you never cease to surprise me. Helen Mirren. Sexy, but bossy at the same time, a bit like my Michelle. You'd certainly take the next left if she told you to. Um, Helen Mirren, I mean, not Michelle. Oh, <laughs> is that right? Or Elvis, maybe. Another round, I think, Steve. Thank you. Oh, Rita. Uh, a word, if I may. Steve and whatever Mary and Norris are having. I thought you might have offered, actually. Well, I'm offering. Oh, seeing as he's in the money. Oh, for pity's sake, not again, Norris. It's not me you should be short with. Well, then maybe you should keep your thoughts Your money's gone missing from the till. Oh, I see. And so, naturally, you've come to blame Dennis. Uh, 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 I'm sure that's not what Norris means. We've counted it three times, both me and Mary. Well, I suppose I could have made a mistake when I was helping out. Helping yourself, more like. There was no mistake. The money is missing because I took it. You? Yes, well, you would say that. Oh, for goodness sake, I couldn't get to the bank, so I borrowed money from the till. Twenty pounds, right? Norris, Mary? Uh, no, I've changed my mind. They can get their own. A double brandy. Oh, you're like a flipping boomerang. Is that not one I want back? What can I get you, hon? Let me guess, let me guess. Long, dark hair, very chatty. I know she's here. Yeah, as you can see. You're right, dinner. Oh, you can't come back here. No, it's private. Punter's on that side of the bar, please. And if you're not going to buy a drink, you're not even that, so go on. Please. Man to man. Andrea is still my wife. Oh, OK. Well, if it's her you want, she left ages ago. Went out the back. Sorry. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you done a runner? Was that wishful thinking? Anyway, where would I have gone? So it did cross your mind then? Well, you know, for about five seconds. We will get through this, you know. I came out of that place thinking to myself, how on earth could I have got it so wrong? You're worse off now than when you first met me. No, that's not true. When I met you, I had nothing. Yeah, well, you know, give it a month or two and I'll take you full circle. I was supposed to be looking after you, Faye. Darling, feeling the whole thing, it was a mistake. But we learn from our mistakes, don't we? And we're luckier than most. Because we get to move on together. You listen to me. You're a good dad and a good man. And without doubt, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. And there was me thinking that I was the lucky one. Oh, well, yeah, you are. Totally.
Believe it or not, she's just as miserable as you are. And there's nothing more my little harpies would like than to see the back of her. But what could I do? She was homeless. The woman works in a hotel. It was full. And anyway, a week in there, would have seen a bankrupt. Look, she's genuinely cut up, though. I mean, I feel trapped. I'm worried to come in here in case I bump into her. I'm afraid to go into Dev's in case she's in there buying a pint of milk. I can't just chuck her out like that. You can. You just won't. Oh, yeah, because it's easy as pie for me. All this, in it? Her at home, you at work. It's like having a choice in a Chinese burn and a poke in the eye. And there was I thinking I was a mate. Oh, don't play the mate card. Turns out all along I was just a Chinese burn. All right, all right. I'll tell her. And just for the record, you were the poke in the eye. Short, sharp and very painful. Cheers, thanks for that, mate. No, I mean it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. now? Solicitor says we should go to mediation. Well, I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. I can't. And to be honest, Nick, you know, it doesn't seem like you have much of a choice if, if he reckons that... I do that and she wins. Nick, if you don't, she wins anyway. Not only that, she ruins you in the process. Is Liz around? She's not, no. She's gone on a night out. All right for some, isn't it? Uh, what about Steve? Yeah, he's in the back. I don't think he'll be long if you want to hang on. <laughs> what is it? Half a bitter and a red wine? Oh, oh. no, no. No, it's on the house. Amazing. When people can't find money to pay the bills, but they can still find money to buy boobs. You're at it again. Jump into conclusions. Mm. You don't know the circumstances. And anyway, what are the folk get up to now to do with you? Really? I disagree. Mm -hmm. As a small businessman, having customers who can't pay their way is most certainly something to do with me. Do you know, I don't matter. I will speak to her in the morning. Come on. No, it's all right. Um, please. <clears throat> you know, to say that I haven't had a great day is what you might call a bit of an understatement, Norris. Mm -hmm. Guess what, mate? I've just been declared bankrupt. Someone who's never owed anybody out, who has always worked really hard and paid his taxes, listen, for 30 years. Well, that, that's very regrettable. No, that's very much regrettable, mate. That there are people like you who can only make themselves really happy by putting others down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Now, come on. Apologies, Anna. I don't want you to think that. I'm really, really sorry for what you're going through. You're all right, Mary. Here you go. Thank you. Cheers. I'm really sorry. <sighs> Listen, don't worry about it. I'll take more than some stupid bankruptcy and gossip from Norris Cole to finish us off, won't you, eh, love? Well, good for you. Yeah. No, it's my mate. I thought I was too. But we are, but... Me and Lloyd... Yeah, I know. I know, and believe me, the last thing I want to do is come between you two. He said I broke his heart. Yeah, well, you did. Which is why... Well, Steve, if you're gonna give it me, just give it me. But if it's a bill, I'm knocking money off for listening to your snoring through the walls. B and bs <laughs> What did you think I was gonna do? Chain myself to the bedpost, refuse to go? No. Just being helpful, I can't do right for doing wrong, can I? Oh, I know, you're right. Sorry. Thank you, I'll do a ring round. Well, there's no rush, you don't have to go straight away. Morning, it'll be fine. And if you want a cab. <laughs> Thank you. I mean it. Thanks. Right, one minute, OK, then bed. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I've been teaching Eccles tricks. Uh, that's amazing. You have to show me, yeah? She needs some more practice. It's because Grandma Deirdre says because she's old. And it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. You know what? She's right. <laughs> right, come on, say. Bed. But I don't have to go to sleep. Come yet. on. Oh. Night, man. Night. Night. I've been speaking to my solicitor, and I think the best way forward is for us to mediate. Oh. 
He thinks I've got a case, does he? So I've made an appointment for tomorrow at 12. Sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> I can change it. No, you're all right. OK, so what, you want to thrash this out, do you? You want to go to court, have Simon see Whoa, it? Whoa, don't you dare use that kid to get your own way. I tried being reasonable with you and you threw it back in my face. You had your chance. Right, you can go now. I got a phone call from some friends. Invite me to stay. All right, okay. See ya. Friends. Sid and Doreen. Bride well B and B. Service with a smile while you stay for a while. <laughs> Catch ya. No, you didn't have to go tonight. Yeah, I did. Come here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You'll take care of him for me, won't you? Yeah, of course. Orange juice. Pint, lager. No, I ain't coming up. I just thought if I could get a few more shifts here. Oh, well. Sort of come up, won't it? <laughs> Do you know what? You just take it all in your stride, don't you? Well, what else am I going to do? Hmm? <laughs> We're off now, but uh, I just wanted to say how sorry I am to hear about your difficulties. Thanks, Rita. Much appreciated. Good night. Good night. Good night, Dennis. Well, you must be starving, eh? I've, um, I've saved something back home, so... <laughs> we need to check on food anyway. Yeah. Come on. Don't be too hard on him. You can see why he thought I'd taken it. Yeah, well... Yeah, he might not always get it right, but one thing you can say about Norris, he's always there for you. I envy you that. You want him? He's yours. <laughs> no, no, I mean it. You're lucky to have a friend like that, someone to lean on. I don't think I've known that sort of friendship for ooh, a very long time. Well, I'll try not to take offence at that. <laughs> oh, no, you know what I mean. We were different. We were man and wife. We still are. And friends, too, I hope. I'd say I don't deserve you, but everybody knows that already. Well, I've never put much store by what other folk think. Even Norris. Especially Norris. <laughs> hey, hey, are you all right? Yeah, any luck with Faye? Love it, it'll be in something and nothing. Yeah, maybe. Where's that, Gary? Oh, he's gone to see Jake before he's put him down. Well, thanks for babysitting. <laughs> Don't let Faye say that. <laughs> right, night. Night, 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 yeah. darling. Come on. Oh, I'll stick the kettle on then, shall I? Um, actually, uh, I went to the food bank earlier. You did what? Yeah, it was all right as it goes. No, it was just full of people like us. Doing the best, but still struggling, and everybody was dead nice. I'll tell you what, don't half restore your faith, places like that. Why didn't you tell me? Because you had enough to worry about. <laughs> You're an amazing woman, you know that. You're not listening. Look, if you agree to mediation, if the solicitor's right, then you'll get what you do. But if you take this to court, then not only will you be writing some big fat checks to the lawyers, but it'll get nasty. Oh, you think he's in the right? Yeah, but this isn't about what's right or wrong. It's about putting this mess behind us. Look, go to court and you get to show Nick who's the boss. <laughs> so what? No, I mean, really, so what? He already knows you hold all the cards. Go to mediation, be the bigger person. You can be very persuasive when you want to be, do you know that? So you'll do it? Yeah, I'll do it. She's drifting off. Well, whatever it was, it looked better to her in the morning, wasn't it? Everything seems so much worse in the dark. Do you know, I lay awake for hours last night worrying about the hearing. What it would do to us. Well, you know, you need to talk to me. You can't go through this stuff on your own. No, I know, I know. 
I lay awake watching you sleep. Well, I wish you'd have woken me. Believe me, I wanted to. I did. I just... Well, I didn't know whether you'd want me to. It's tough, Anna. You know, not being able to, you know... Us being close. And I suppose, if I'm honest, it's... It's tougher not knowing whether you'd want that ever again. Hmm? Oh, and it's been tough for me, too. Yeah? I don't want anybody else. Oh. <laughs> I so don't deserve you. Shh, you know, shush, if I have, if I... Shush. That's all in the past. Everything that's happened. Are you sure? the real-life cast of characters in London's age-old trade. They're the Diamond Geezers and Gold Dealers on ITV Player right now. Here next on ITV, gossip is rife in Port Wen over a scandal that falls right at the door of Bert's restaurant. Is anyone hopeful Doc Martin just might be able to smooth things over? <laughs>